हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज रश्मि सिंह वेलकम टू माय चैनल अनरैवलिंग साइंस सॉल्यूशंस फॉर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी क्लास टेन चैप्टर एलेवन पार्ट वन क्वेश्चंस इन द चैप्टर व्हाट डज एन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट सर्किट मींस An electric circuit is a continuous closed path of an electric current. If circuit is complete, current can flow through the circuit. Simple electric circuit consists of following components. As you can see, electric device, electric wire, switch, and power source. That is the battery. Define the unit of current. SI unit of current is ampere. Current is said to be one ampere. One one coulomb of charge flows per second across the cross section area of conductor. Calculate the number of electron constituting one coulomb of charge. Charge on one electron is one point six into ten to the power nineteen coulombs. Number of electrons in one coulomb will be one upon one point six. That is six point two five into ten to the power eighteen. Name a device that helps to maintain a potential difference across the conductor. Any source of electricity like battery cell power supply helps to maintain the potential difference across the conductor. What is meant by saying the potential difference between two point is one volt? If one joule of work is required to move a charge of amount of one coulomb from one point to another, then it is said that the potential difference between two points is one volt. How much energy is given to each coulomb of charge passing through six volt battery? Energy given to each coulomb of charge is equal to the amount of work which is done in moving it. We know that potential difference is work done upon charge, so work done will be potential difference into charge. Where charge is one coulomb and potential difference six v, so W work done will be six joules. on what factor does the resistance of the conductor depends resistance of the conductor depends on the length of the conductor area of cross section temperature and nature of material used to make the conductor will current flow more easily through the thick wire or thin wire of same material when connected to the same source and why The current will flow more easily through thick wire because the resistance of the conductor is inversely proportional to the area of cross section so thicker the wire less will be the resistance hence more easily the current flows let the resistance of an electric component remains constant while the potential difference across the two ends of the component decreases to half of its former value what change will occur in the current through it According to Ohm's law, V is equals to I R, so I is equals to V upon R. Now the potential difference is decreased to half, so the new potential difference V dash is equals to V by two, so resistance remain constant. Now the new current I dash will is equals to V dash upon R. So you can see the new formula, putting the Half resistance we ah uh, half folds we get V by two upon R half V by R so half I therefore the current flowing in the electrical component is reduced by half. Why are the coils of electric toaster and electric iron made up of alloy rather than pure metal? The resistivity of an alloy is uh, higher than the pure metal. Moreover, at high temperature, the alloy do not melt readily, hence the coil of heating appliances are made up of alloy. Use the data in the table given below to answer the following: Which among iron and mercury is the better conductor? Which material is the best conductor? So, as we can see in the table. According to the table, the resistivity of mercury is more than that of iron. Therefore, iron is the best conductor, better conductor than the mercury, and silver is the best conductor because resistivity of silver is lowest among all. 
Draw a schematic diagram of a circuit consisting of a battery of three cells of two volts each, a five ohm resistor, eight ohm resistor, and twelve ohm resistor, and a plug key, and all connected in series. You can see the diagram here. R five resistances five ohm and eight ohms and twelve ohm and uh, uh, volt volt supply two volts each. Redraw the draw circuit of the last question, putting an ammeter to measure the current through the resistance and the voltmeter to measure potential difference across twelve ohm resistor. And what will be the reading in ammeter and voltmeter? So as uh, you can see the circuit diagram here, the ammeter A has been joined in series. of the circuit and voltmeter is joined parallel to 12 ohm resistor so the total voltage of the battery v is equals to 3 into 2 that is 6 volts total resistance will be r1 plus r2 plus r3 that is 25 ohms ammeter reading that is the current which is i is equals to v upon r putting the values we get 0.24 ampere voltmeter reading V is equals to I R. Putting the value, we get two point eight eight volts. Judge the equivalent resistance when the following are connected in parallel. One and ten to the power six ohms. One ten ten to the power three and ten to the power six ohms. So when the resistances are joined in parallel, the resultant resistance in parallel arrangement is given by one by R is equals to one by R one plus one by R two plus one by R three. So in case of one and ten to the power six ohms, we get putting the values, we get one ohm as the resistance. Therefore, the equivalent resistance is one ohm here. Similarly, for one ohm, ten to the power three ohm, and ten to the power six ohm, putting these value in the formula, we get point nine 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 ohms resistance. So here, the equivalent resistance is point nine 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 ohms. An electrical lamp of hundred ohms, a toaster of resistance of fifty ohms, and a water filter of resistance of five hundred ohms are con connected in parallel to two twenty volt source. What is the resistance of electric current connected to the same source that take as much as current as three appliances? And what is the current through it? So voltage is two twenty volts. R one hundred, R two resistance fifty, and R three five hundred ohms. You can see the circuit diagram here. Equivalent resistance of the resistor will be one by R. Putting all the values, one by R one, R one by R two, and one by R three, we get resistance five hundred by sixteen ohms. Now, using the Ohm's law, the current flow across the circuit will be I is equals to V upon R. Putting the values, we get I is equals to seven point zero four ampere. As the appliances are connected in parallel, the current drawn across all of them is seven point zero four A. So the current in electric iron will also be seven point zero four A ampere. So the resistance will be V upon I. Putting the values, we get thirty one point two five ohms. What are the advantages of connecting electrical devices in parallel with the battery instead of connecting them in series? The advantages of connecting electrical devices in parallel with the battery are as follows. First is voltage across each connecting electrical device is same and take current as per as its its resistance. Second separate on and off switches can be applied across the device. Third total resistance in parallel circuit decreases hence the greater current can be drawn from the cell. Fourth, even if one electrical device is damaged, the other devices continue to work properly. How can three resistors of resistance two, three, and six ohms be connected to a given resistance of first is four ohms and second one ohm? 
so we know the resistances r1 r2 r3 r1 3 and 6 respectively so to get the resistance of 4 ohms we connect 3 and 6 in parallel and 2 in series with them you can see the diagram here now putting the values of uh, 3 and 6 in parallel 1 by r we get 2 ohms then the resistances in series will be r plus r1 that is 2 plus 2 ohms that is 4 ohms similarly to get the resistance of 1 ohm we connect 2 3 and 6 in parallel as shown in the figure putting the values 1 by r is equals to 1 by r1 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 we get the resistance 1 ohm what is the highest and the lowest total resistance that can be secured by the combination of four resistance 4 ohms 8 ohms 12 ohms and 24 ohms so to obtain highest resistance all the four resistance must be connected in series arrangement so r is equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 putting the values we get 48 ohms similarly to obtain the lowest resistance all four resistances must be connected in parallel arrangement so according to the formula putting the values we get r is equals to 2 ohms Why does the cord of an electric heater not glow while the heating element does? Heating element of electric heater is made up of alloy which has higher resistance. When the current flows through the element, the heating element becomes too hot and glows red. The cord is usually made up of copper and aluminium which has lower resistance, hence cord does not glow. Commute the heat generated while transferring 96,000 coulombs of charge in 1 hour through the potential difference of 50 volts. Heat generated can be commuted by Joule's law. So putting the formula H is equals to Vit. V is the voltage that is 50 volts here. I is the current. T time in seconds. So 1 hour will be 3600 seconds. Putting in the formula amount of charge is equals to amount amount of current is equals to amount of charge upon time flow of charge. Putting the values we get I is equals to 26.66 ampere. Heat generated H is equals to Vit that is equals to V in Q. Putting the values we get H is equals to 4.8 in 10 to power 6 joules. An electric RN of resistance 20 ohms takes a current of 5 ampere. Calculate heat develop in 30 seconds. So here resistance is 20 ohms, current 5 ampere, time is 30 seconds. Putting into the formula H is equals to 1 square RT. Putting the values in the formula we get 1.5 into 10 to the power 4 joules. What determines the rate at which energy is delivered by the current? Electrical power determines the rate at which the energy is delivered by the current. An electric motor takes 5 ampere from 220V line. Determine the power of motor and energy consumed in 2 hours. So we know uh, current 5 ampere voltage 220 time 2 hours that is 7200 seconds. So power is equals to V into I putting the values we get 1100 watts. Energy consumed is equals to P into T. Putting the values, we get 7.92 into 10 to the power 6 joules. Coming up next, the solution for back exercises of the chapter. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe.